displacing 45,693 tons, and with a length of 844 feet, 257 meters, USS Tripoli, LHA-7, could easily be mistaken for an aircraft carrier. Tripoli is similar in size to the Charles de Gaulle or the Vikramaditya, the flagship carriers of French and Indian navies respectively, and while shorter, has a comparable displacement to the former United States Navy's Midway-class carriers. However, LHA-7 is actually the second of the America class of landing helicopter assault-type amphibious assault ships that are designed to put ashore a marine expeditionary unit using helicopters and MV-22B Osprey V-Stoll transport aircraft, supported by F-35B Lightning II V-Stoll aircraft and various attack helicopters. A total of 11 of the new LHAs will be built, based on the USS Mackin Island, LHD-8 the final ship of the WASP class of amphibious assault ships. The first two were modified and constructed without the Weldex and smaller onboard hospitals so as to provide more space for aviation uses. Built by Ingalls Shipbuilding, Huntington Ingalls Industries, in Pascagoula, Mississippi, Tripoli was launched in May 2017, and after running about a year behind the production schedule, she was finally delivered in February 2020. She recently completed sea trials, and on Monday, LHA-7 departed Naval Station San Diego, California, on an independent deployment to the Western Pacific. She will gather her complement of F-35B aircraft that will allow further testing of the United States Marine Corps' Lightning Carrier concept where it can load up to 20 of the aircraft and provide adjunct capability to a carrier strike group. The departure was less than a month after the warship had wrapped up a week of at-sea testing and training to prove the viability of the Lightning Carrier concept. The recent tests were seen as a major milestone in determining how many fighters the Navy and Marine Corps could operate aboard the ship at one time. The F-35s came from three Marine Corps squadrons reported, including the Vikings of Marine Fighter Attack Squadron, VMFA-225 and the Wake Island Avengers of VMFA-211, both based at Yuma Marine Corps Air Station Arizona, and Marine Operational Test and Evaluation Squadron 1, based at Yuma and New River, North Carolina. The advanced, multi-mission F-35BS are currently replacing the Marine Corps' older F-A-18 Hornet and AV-8B Harrier jets. Typically the U.S. Navy's Big Deck Amphibious Assault ships train and deploy as part of a three-ship amphibious ready group, which can deploy with 2,200-member Marine Expeditionary Units, with their large Weldex supporting waterborne craft that provide significant Marine Corps capability in literal operations. USS Tripoli, however, was designed to support air operations that will be centered around the F-35B multirole aircraft and thus operate almost as a carrier, hence the Lightning Carrier concept. We refer to the ship as Assault Carrier 7. And Assault is traditional for an LHD, LHA, Captain Joel Lang, USS Tripoli's commander, said during an April 3 media event aboard the warship, we have the space for a battalion landing team, we have about 1,000 infantrymen. And typically the air combat element is a blend of rotary and tilt rotor in order to enable that assault force to go ashore. What we're doing right now is lightning carrier, and we are proving the operational concept. We are proving the tactics and the techniques and the procedures to employ the lightning carrier concept. Despite the lack of a well deck, the first two vessels of America class shouldn't truly be seen as mini carriers, even if two years ago, USS America, LHA-6, was the US Navy's most significant operational naval asset in the South China Sea region, when the aircraft carrier USS Theodore Roosevelt, CVN-71, was sidelined in Guam, while its crew recovered from a coronavirus outbreak.